if you're new, I'm AJ Locks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. While you're here, go ahead and subscribe. The button looks like this, right here, right here. Um, and go ahead and press that post notification bell so you do not miss out on an update. All right, guys. Today we're going to be talking about my maintenance routine, what I do to maintain these. Um, it's really simple. Like, that's the thing. My maintenance routine is so, so simple. But uh, let me let y'all know what I do. All right, so let's take these down. It's a look, right? It's a look. Okay, so let's start off with what I use to shampoo my hair. Um, if you've been to my channel before, you know I use the Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo. I've been using this for a while. I'm still using this. I love it. It works for me. Um, I am itching to try the Dr. Bronner's Tea Tree Shampoo, I think. That's what it is. Um, mainly because I have a little situation with dry scalp sometimes. Um, this kind of gets it, but, um, tea tree is bomb for dry scalp and I've heard wonderful things about it. Um, so I'm itching to try that. I haven't got an opportunity to try it yet. Huh? Okay, hold on. My daughter. So, uh, yeah, once I try that, I'll let you guys know how I like it, but I've heard amazing things about it. Um, but right now, I'm just using my Shea Moisture, and that is working out for me. Because my locks are so new, like I've only had them in for about three months, um, I try not to wash my hair a lot. I try to go as long as possible between shampoos. Um, right now, it's been about three weeks for me. Um, I'll probably go like another week before I shampoo. I'm really just trying to make sure, give my locks um, an opportunity to lock, you know. Um, so I try not to shampoo it too often. What I do in between the times, in between my wash times, um, is this. I get a towel. Oh, and I usually use a brown towel, but it's in the washing machine. So... I'm gonna use a baby wipe with y'all today. Um, so I take my towel, and I use a brown towel, obviously, because my hair is brown. Um, if your hair is black, you probably wanna use a... If your hair is dark, you probably wanna use um, a darker towel, obviously. But I'll just take a towel, and I will go through, and I will wipe down my roots. Make sure I'm clearing it of any dirt, any oils. Yeah, so it's, it's a little dirty up in here. Um, but yeah, I will do this on my entire head. Oh, this feels so good right now, y'all. Like, I don't even... I can't even tell y'all. This feels so good. I don't even want to stop right now. Ooh. So good. Alright, let me take care of my daughter's situation, y'all. I'll stay with me. Give me one second. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay, so I go through with the cloth um, and wipe down my scalp. I do that like once a week. Okay, just to get all the gunk, all the oils that have been put on there through the week, just to get that all off, start a clean slate. Um, I don't sweat a lot in my head, so I mean, I, that's kind of not a thing for me. Um, but yeah, just to get a clean scalp. Um, after I do that, I like to go through with my little mixture. And this bottle is water, coconut oil, and tea tree oil. Oil, okay, so let's break these down. Um, coconut oil, amazing. We 
all pretty much know that it's an amazing moisturizer, right? It's rich in antioxidants. It has antifungal, antibacterial, and antiviral properties. It improves scalp health. It supports hair growth. And it adds volume and shine. And it's natural. Okay, so coconut oil is amazing. Um, and tea tree oil is another one that I love. Tea tree oil aids in hair growth. And it's not like a hair growth serum, but it unclogs follicles. So it allows your scalp to breathe. Um, and it allows the blood to circulate through your scalp. And so that promotes hair growth. Um, it also aids in keeping away dandruff and dry scalp, um, and it also has antifungal, antibacterial, and antiviral properties. So, tea tree oil is amazing. Um, so what I do, and I do this every day, I'll take my mixture and I will spray my scalp. It smells so good. And I'm like hella generous with this, like. Um, and then I spray my lock salsa. Yeah. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. Every day. Every day I do this. I, it's just. The tea tree just feels like so refreshing on my scalp. Like, I love it. Um, and then once a week, um, and only once a week, I go through with this. Like, you can't even see it. Like, it's faded. Um, but this is pretty much like an oil mixture. I mean, what's in it is Jamaican black castor oil, olive oil, green tea extract, sweet almond oil, soybean oil, shea butter, jojoba oil, sunflower oil, coconut oil, vitamin E, and canola oil. Whole bunch of good stuff up in here. And I take this and I apply it liberally to my scalp. It's a really, really great moisturizer. And it smells really, really great too. Oh, so good. Yeah, I just kind of rubbed that through. <sighs> I need, I'm like, can y'all tell like I'm a sucker for scalp massages? So good. Okay. And that's it. That that's that's all I do. Um, like I said, probably uh, every four to six weeks, I'll shampoo my hair. Um, I don't use any conditioner, uh, but I will go ahead. I shampoo my hair. I do band my hair in order to shampoo it. I let it dry completely, um, and then I take the rubber bands or the plaits out. Once I take the rubber bands and the plaits out, I do again the spray mixture and I do the oils. Um, I, I can't go without those. Um, that's it though. It's, it's really simple. I try to keep it as natural as possible, as light as possible. I don't want to weigh down my locks. I don't want to clog my pores or my hair follicles by putting too many oils um, or things on it. At night, um, I wear a dreadlock tube. It's pretty much like a copycat lock sock. And I just, I just put this on and I just got this recently from um, a beauty supply store. It was like two bucks or something like that. Um, and before that, I was using a huge satin bonnet. This, this bonnet is ginormous, but I like it because it's satin. I, so yeah, I like it over the, um, the dreadlock stocking because of satin, um, but I prefer this because it sticks closer to your head. Um, so like your retwist will last longer and um, just like the overall neatness, neatness of your locks last longer because it's closer to your head, but 
whatever um so yeah that's it that's it that's all um i like to keep it simple um yeah so if you have any questions about my routine you have any suggestions i'm always down to uh try new stuff as long as it's um promoting health go ahead comment it below let's get a convo going if you have not already go ahead and subscribe like the video sharing is caring go ahead and share this with your family share this with your friends your co-workers your boyfriend your ex-boyfriend maybe not your ex-boyfriend um but you get what I'm saying. Go ahead and share this, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Make sure to stay and be bold, be amazing, be beautiful. Bye, guys.